Hi EHS, it's Ms. Chico, and I'm here to teach you about how to best use Khan Academy. Even if you've already signed up or have been begun working on assignments for class, I suggest you still watch this video all the way through so that you understand what the East Harlem School is expecting of all mathematicians during this time when we're not meeting at school. As a reminder, the website is khanacademy.org. The first thing I'm going to teach you is how to sign up. As a reminder, you can sign up using a phone, a tablet, or a computer, and the website is khanacademy.org. I'm going to show you what it would look like if you were to sign up using a computer. After you type in the website, you would first see this page. You would click Learners. You would join Khan Academy as a learner, and before entering your date of birth, I would click Enter Class Code. That's because every single class or every grade at EHS has their own class code. If you forgot what your class code is, no worries. I'm going to show you on the screen right now. I suggest you pause the video right here and write down on a piece of paper what your class code is. Great. Once you've written down your class code, you would type it in right here where it says enter class code and then click add. Now I see that when I make my account, I'll be added into the fourth grade class. I would then click create a new account if I don't yet have a Khan Academy account or log into your existing account. So I don't have an account, so I'm gonna type in my birthday. Of course, I don't want you to know how old I am, so I'm gonna lie about the year I was born. And I'm going to select, I have the options of continue with Google or sign up by using, choosing a username. Since I don't have my own Google account, I'm gonna sign up choosing a username. One quick note about usernames before we move on. Your username needs to include your name so that your teacher knows who is completing assignments. This is really important because it's the way that we can best help you and we can make sure that everyone who needs to is logged in. If you have some confusing name that doesn't have your name in it, we actually don't know who's actually completing those assignments. So please make it your name. You can add as many numbers afterwards if you would like. So, I'm gonna select my username. I'm gonna use Ms. Chico. It's unavailable, so I'm gonna add some numbers afterwards. Mm -hmm. Create your password. This can be something that um, only you remember. Um, please write it down on a piece of paper just in case you forget. I would write down what your username and your password is on a piece of paper um, so that you don't forget what it is if you log in on a different device. I would create a password that's at least eight characters long and click sign up. So remember, because I entered my class code, when I sign up, I'll be automatically put into Ms. Chico's fourth grade math class. It says, welcome to your class, fourth grade, click onward. And um, Ms. Chico's already added as a teacher because I entered the class code. Once I'm here on my home page, I'm gonna click courses. I would then click fourth grade because that's a course I'm in. And I would click fourth grade math. If you see right here, I can then choose to go into fourth grade, but I'm gonna wait until Ms. Chico assigns me something. So let's say Ms. Chico knows now that I made an account and she has assigned me some work. It would look something like this. I now see a tab that says assignments. That's because Ms. Chico has added some assignments for me. You will see all assignments that I've given to fourth graders and the day that they're due. So right now I've set all of them to be due Sunday night and I would just click start. At the end of each exercise that you complete, not the videos you watch, but the exercise you complete, you'll see a score out of 100%. Once you finish signing up, you're going to start to complete assignments assigned by your teacher, either myself, Ms. Dwoskin, or Mr. Hayes. As I said, when the teacher knows that you've made the account, they can start assigning you different assignments. We want you to spend at least 30 minutes a day on Khan Academy. This could be completing assignments that we've given you or yourself exploring the different new topics that you might not have learned or reviewing old topics that you've already learned. Assignments will be assigned on Monday mornings and due Friday afternoon. If for some reason you were not able to um, complete an assignment on time and they're late, don't worry. 
okay? We know that this is a confusing time for everyone. Everyone's signing up at different times. Just complete them. So what you'll see if you go to your uh, screen, if you have your assignments, you'll see active, which means that these are due in the future and I want to complete them now, but I can also go to past and see any that are late or they, the due date has passed. That's okay. You can still click start and start any of the assignments that were are past due. Don't stress out about this, just complete them. One quick reminder is that we see you. What this means is we can see every video you watch and how you answer each question. What this means is we want you to really hold yourself accountable for answering every single question in each section. Don't just answer two, leave the other ones because they're hard and move on to the next section. This also means that we can help you with specific questions. So I can give you a call or a text and say, hey, I see that you're struggling on question three and you chose X, Y, Z as your answer. This makes it so we can really help you with the different questions. Just so you know, we see you. When you're completing assignments, you need to watch every video assigned to you. So Mr. Hayes, Ms. Waskin, and I will assign you videos and exercises or tests or quizzes. That means that both of those are equally important. The videos show something that's either new or review that we want you to watch the whole video. When you're watching videos, please take notes when watching the videos. That means if Sal in the video shows an example problem, write it down on a piece of paper so you get that practice before you enter an exercise. If he explains a new term with a definition, write down the definition of the new term. You will see exercises, tests, and quizzes. Those will show up as assignments, just like right here. So you can see that this little play button is actually a video that my teacher wants me to watch, and these stars are exercises or quizzes or tests. So all of these will come with a score at the end, depending on how well I answered the questions. If you notice that you scored, uh, 50% or lower, don't move on. We want every single exercise, test, or quiz to be scored at at least 75%. So if you score 50% or lower, don't move on. Retake the assignment until you can score and get at least 75%. Please, don't give up, practice makes perfect. If you do get stuck though, there are some few helpful hints um, when you're on Khan Academy. You can rewatch the video associated with that skill or you can use a hint. If you keep trying, keep trying and still can't get it, please call or text your teacher. Leveling up on your own. So we as teachers are going to assign you assignments every single week. If you've already completed those assignments or the assignments are so hard you can't get them and you want to go back and review, you're able to do that. So let me show you what it looks like for you to level up on your own. When I'm on my page, I can see that these are my assignments. I can also see how close I am to course mastery. So I'm going to set a goal for everyone to complete most of fourth grade math. That means that you need to have some time to complete some review. I can also go into courses. What this means is that I can explore any topic in my math class that I want to. So if I wanted to go back and review adding and subtracting fractions, I can click on that anytime I want to and level up. What that means is they'll show you exactly what you need to level up. So for example, if I wanted to do common denominators, I would take this practice right here and I would need to get three out of four questions correct in order to level up, right? So one thing that we wanna do is we wanna collect badges, earn points and level up. You can do this on your own, taking quizzes and tests lets you level up lots of different skills at once. Um, so you can do this on your own time on any skill you want to within your grade level. If you think that you are need to review something, you can go in and click whichever topic you want to review. This is in addition to assignments if you've already completed all of your assignments of that week. Again, you may level up on your own time, but please complete your assignments first. So that's all I have for you now. Happy learning, happy conning, and happy calculating. And if you have any questions, please email your teachers. Our email addresses are listed right here. You can pause the video to write down our email addresses. Thanks. Have a great day.